How is everyone tonight? I hope I hope that everybody's having a better week than I am. Stream night and I needed to be on or my brain was going to eat itself alive all night. So here I am. Tonight, I have um, a selection of short films for everyone and uh, one or two other things uh, as well. Um, I've been struggling a lot lately. A lot of it's up here. Best night to dwell. So, let's get on with the show. All right. Um, let's do a trailer. Skeletor looked pretty cool there. Not there. Hello, Evelyn. Oh, he looks cool. In this land of peril and wonder, the battle for Eternia's fate. Join the epic where heroes rise and darkness falls. Wolf. That was pretty good though. Uh, it was, um, it felt more like a, um, a toy commercial from, from when I was a kid. That was pretty good. Okay, so, um, our first uh, sh uh, short film of the night is Nightmare on Starkiller Base, a For the Emperor, For the Emperor, for the Empire Halloween Special by AFK. Uh, you know them, you love them. Um, let's check it out. I need something to, to cheer me up. Sounded pretty rude, huh? That's all right, son. I guess I am pretty old. And 
never expected to live this long, to be honest. All the scrapes I've been through. I'm TKBOOB5. What's your call sign? I never bothered to remember it. My friends just call me TKFNG. I <laughs> thought it stood for fun, nice guy, but I found out later I was mistaken. Are your friends still in the First Order? <laughs> no. FKU retired years back and went to live on the pleasure planet of Zeltrus. He lasted three days before his heart exploded. I've never seen such a happy looking corpse. <laughs> the 6 9, well, I really thought she was the one, but it wasn't to be. She ran off with her authority. Something about him having two pals. Then they were both killed in a freight yachting accident. I could never have predicted such tragic outcomes for all of us. It really subverted my expectations. But gosh, here you are, on Starkiller Base, ready to witness the glorious rise of the New Order, huh? Man. If I had exactly credit for every all-conquering totalitarian organization led by a mysterious figure who employs a black clad red glow stick wielding enforcement to his bidding, I'd have... Uh, two credits? Yeah, I guess so. Mm. Still strange that it's happened twice. But, you know, the First Order would have learned from the mistakes of the Empire, huh? What, like, not committing massive amounts of resources and constructing super weapons with easily exploitable weaknesses? Starkiller Base is worse than the original Death Stars. As well as inevitable explosion, caused no doubt by a lucky band of rebels. The Resistance. What? No, they're not the rebels anymore. We call them the Resistance now. What are they resisting? Being called a rebellion, apparently? <laughs> well, that's dumb. Do they use X-Wings? Uh-huh. Are they striking from hidden bases? Yeah. Are they being led by Princess Leia? Uh, General Gilf herself, huh? Rebels. Uh, whatever they call themselves, there's no chance they can destroy this base. It's the size of a planet. Yeah, about that. How the hell did the First Order manage to find the time and resources to hollow out an entire planet? Not to mention kidnapping tens of thousands of children. Uh -huh. Exciting. The only people in the galaxy <laughs> who cared enough to kick up a stick were a retiree senator, her antique translator droid, and a ragtag band of musical theater hippies. Well, since when did TIE fighters need two people to fly her? Uh, no. What exactly are we fighting for now? It used to be peace and order, but the galaxy already has that. Yeah, but it's the wrong kind. <laughs> the wrong kind? Yeah. Of peace and order? Yes. So what's the right kind? Obviously, when we're in charge. <laughs> ah, be the sun oh, I love out. this. This is great so, banter. The sun going out. Uh, Starkiller Base is sucking the energy from the local star to power its super weapon. We're about to deliver a blow the New Republic will soon forget. And then freeze to death. Well, no, because the planet has thrusters. <laughs> yep. Big, powerful thrusters on the other side of the globe. We can just fly to a new system. So why do we need a super laser at all? Why can't we just fly to a planet and drain their star? Boom. Entire system eliminated in one go. Well, that's just... You know, it, it wouldn't be... Uh, I'm sure they... Explosions are cool? The explosions are pretty cool, aren't they? <laughs> Explosions uh, are pretty cool, aren't they? Hey, where you going? Yeah, I'm off to find an escape ship. I know how this ends. Oh, oh, thank God it was all a dream. Did you fall asleep standing up again? Yes, and I had the most awful night. I was still a stormtrooper 30 years later, but the Empire had morphed into this weird cargo cult version of itself and was being run by a blistered foreskin dude and a pimp robe, and the skinny blonde kid had gotten all old and abandoned the force, and he was drinking green milk straight from the source, and the galactic capital had moved to Hodney and Prime, and my helmet made me look like a duck, and Princess Leia could breathe in space. So that, that dream sounds a little, uh, unstructured. No, it's like I was just making it up as I went along. You <laughs> said Hotly and Prime was the capital? The uh, place is a backwater. It's got potential, though. I've invested a few credits in there in real estate myself. Oh, nice. I've heard that market's really going to blow up in the future. And who did you say was in charge? Uh, I forget the name. But it doesn't matter because there was another shadowy figure calling the shots in the background. And who was that then? <laughs> Somehow, Palpatine returned. <laughs> Four bed 
<laughs> yes. Hello again, and welcome to the ISN, the Imperial Shopping Network. Unofficially, of course. Uh, of course. And we wanted to say a quick congrats to all the troopers. Who How's everybody on kick? Nice to see you all. Emperor Palpatine of DS2, led by Moff Jinjir. <laughs> Moth Moth Jay. <laughs> what are we looking at today, FNG? Well, said Kai, today we're not so much looking as learning. Let me introduce you to Boot.f, the site that turns learning code into a game. That's amazing. Tell me more. Well, at Boot.f, you can... Nice in-universe... ...and web development... ...start uh, commercial. to finish in the Python and Go programming languages. I don't know what that is. But it sounds very impressive. I don't know what it is either, but do you know what? I'm going to find out. And it's going to be fun. Thanks to Boot.dev, I have a way of learning. I want to learn code to make my own games. And Boot.dev is perfect because it's actually structured like a game. There is experience points, levels, achievements, even a global leaderboard. Are you sure this is learning? Or have you just found an excuse to play games? No rule that says learning can't be fun. Looks like I'm going to be learning a lot because Boot.dev will get you writing a ton of code. There's even a 30 day money back guarantee and free demos of every course to check out. Hold up. Looks like we even have a special discount code for our viewers. Use the code AFK to get a 25% discount off your first month or even your first year if you choose the annual plan. So, what are you waiting for? Order now! Maybe I should have learned the code. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you very much uh, to the guys at AFK. That shit's awesome. Um, that was Nightmare on Starkiller Base. Not, not, not the... Uh, it subverted my expectations for a Halloween special. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Um... If you watch till the end, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, share, follow, all that stuff. Be safe, be happy, be healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.